Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is going to be a timeless message for the collective. Only take what resonates with you. Alright, what messages do we have? That's a lot. There's a whole little chunk right there. So I'm just going to politely ask for just a few. <laughs> Okay, all right, spit one right out. We have the Three of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords. I don't know why I'm hearing something worked in reverse. Something worked in reverse, but it was supposed to work against you, right? Something, yeah, like something was supposed to, I don't know. Because again, the Wheel of Fortune was under the page of swords. It's like something was supposed to keep you down. Something was meant, get the damn card. <laughs> something was meant to like uh, keep you down, keep you in a box, keep you trapped in a cycle of feeling small, being belittled. Something where your power is just like contained in this, or uh, what's the word, confined better. Better word is confined. Like someone wanted you in this confined energy, but I feel like something worked in, in reverse. It's like I'm getting isolation. Like someone tried to isolate you. Like, oh, I'm not going to talk to you or I'm just going to ghost you, right? But that was like one of the best things they could have done. <laughs> so something, like I said, the Wheel of Fortune it was right under the page of... Damn. <laughs> you see how that fell out? Look at that. I'm going to take this whole thing because it's making sense. If you look at the cards, right? So like I said, something was meant to confine you, make you trap, blah, blah, blah. Someone wanted you to feel isolated. Here comes the wheel of fortune, right? So they thought they was going to keep you in this cycle with the wheel of unhappiness by five of pentacles, by leaving you out, by separating, by isolating you. I don't know why, but I'm thinking like isolating it. I don't know why I'm getting like cold. So, so this imagery is actually making sense. So someone wanted to make you, again, you know, a lot of people say they leave you out in the cold, but someone was being cold, isolating you. Someone was being very cold, very nonchalant, right? And it was meant to just make you feel like, F you collective. Little did they know, you ended up being the queen of pentacles, whether you're masculine or feminine. Like, you ended up being the queen of pentacles. You ended up being more fruitful. You ended up coming out of this, like, cold winter storm into being in this tropical area where you could just bear fruit whenever you want. <laughs> and I'm laughing. Because, look at this. Under that, confined. What does it look like? Like a coffin, right? Four of Swords, like someone wanted, again, Four of Swords speaks about isolation. This speaks about isolation. Someone wanted you to be so blocked off, so closed off, and they succeeded. They succeeded in blocking you off, but they also succeeded in giving you a boost. It's like this cutoff, this cutoff didn't work how they wanted it to work, because you were supposed to chase, remember, look. I know this is too feminine. What again? Whether you're masculine or feminine, this is too feminine energy because this is a woman behind this man. So someone wanted to have you following, chasing. Someone wanted you in that chasing energy, and you didn't chase. And they looked behind, and they was like, "Wait, she gone." <laughs> like I said. It was like, oh, I'm going to drag you through the mud or drag you through this winter storm, right? <laughs> I'm going to drag you through this storm and look behind and all of a sudden you was gone. You was in this tropical area bearing fruit, just like I said. What is 
did not work out how they wanted it to because they looking back like oh i'm thinking like <laughs> oh, the scene i'm getting is like someone on the top of a mountain or like just in a really cold you know winter storm and they look back and be like hello is anybody there and it's just the sound of their own voice just echoing Like, come on, I could, the cars just laid it out for me. You literally, they looked behind and you were just gone in this nice, serene place. Again, you might have been by yourself. You might feel like, oh, you know, I had to sever a tie, especially with this page of swords. I had to sever a tie, I had to let it go, face this heartbreak with this three of swords. Isolate with this four of swords. There's a lot of swords going on. Yeah, someone was, was being real cold. Ace of swords in reverse, bottom of deck. Someone was being real cold and nasty. But the problem is, in the reverse, they didn't stand, they didn't stand ten toes down on what decision they made. The problem is, they was looking back for you like, oh, you're definitely going to follow. You're definitely going to be there. You're definitely going to be chasing and... Boy, oh boy. Excuse me. Boy, oh boy, were they wrong. Okay? They were very, very, <laughs> very wrong. Let me get some clarifiers, please. So, like I said, this... They succeeded in isolating you, right? Because you end up standing alone, standing... Not alone, but standing your ground. Being okay with solitude, because you're never really alone. Oh, you're with spirit, right? Oh my God, okay. <laughs> you're never really alone. So you're okay with the solitude. But they were, they were the one. So someone could have been projecting. Someone could have been calling you codependent. Oh, you need me. I don't need you. Like... I was the one that boosted you up and fed your ego and little did they know like you was the one boosting them feeding their ego yeah king of king of uh wands in reverse like that all of that fire got put out okay they was hey they was trying to start a fire I mean you could start a fire in the winter yeah but it, it, it didn't succeed like the storm was the storm they created was too heavy for their own fire so, yeah, like I said, you're over here growing Six of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, you're growing. They're in reverse. So I might as well put that right there. Yeah. Cut the deck and we got the sun. So things are looking, again, things are looking bright and sunny warm and sunny i just you see i didn't even mean to do that <laughs> i didn't even mean to make that card drop but things are looking bright and sunny where you are and this fell right on top of you know this plant that's growing you investing in yourself fell right on top of that things are growing things are looking sunny in your area whether you're quote alone or not Okay, there's a lot for you to, to pick from, a lot of fruit, a lot of opportunities, put it like that. A lot of opportunity. damn, cut the deck in the, in this, what? Is this the world? Yeah, cut the deck, it's the world. There's a lot of opportunities for you to choose from. A lot of things are right for you to pick, as long as you don't look at <laughs> And I mean it. Like, yeah, I mean it. Yeah. We have the Eight of Swords and the King of... I'm sorry. I, wow, I said the King. They want to be. That was the King. They were the King of Wands at one point, but they demoted themselves to a damn knight. Yeah. All right. So, again, with this Eight of Swords, as long as you don't look back, okay, you should be good. 
as long as you don't, um, you know, go back to this mental entrapment with this eight of swords, as long as you don't go back into whatever mental trap they try to put you in, you'll be okay. They're still going to be looking back at your energy like, you still there? You still there? I mean, you. They're going to be eternally chasing because they know what they had and I was gone. So whether this be a romantic relationship or a friendship, a business partnership, they're always going to be looking back like, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Really, I'm going to put this over here. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Okay, because that's not your energy. So, like I said, somebody's going to be in their feelings. So, we have the King of Cups in reverse. And what is this? Three of Wands in reverse. Again, it's like losing. Didn't I say losing all their fire? They created this heavy storm. They thought it was going to be, I don't know, what kind of storm. A fire storm, whatever they was creating. But they ended up not understanding their own powers because they were doofus. So, they created a winter storm. So they use their energy in the wrong way. <laughs> they Okay, imagine it like this, right? They're, they were a king of wands. So this might be a fire sign or just someone who has like very strong, fiery, passionate, driven, bully type of energy, right? So they, they thought they were hot shit, right? But they didn't understand how to use their power in the right way. So they miscalculated along the way, along the journey, right? They miscalculated and ended up creating a winter storm, which outed their own fire, King of Cups in reverse. And then look at all of these wands are in reverse, according to them. The King of Wands is in reverse, the Knight of Wands in reverse, and the Three of Cups. I'm sorry, the Three of Wands is in reverse. So they ended up activating their own water, their own, when I say water, like their own emotional bitch made, really, type of energy. They ended up evoking that because they don't understand, I guess you say alchemy. They don't understand power, okay? They don't understand how things work. So they ended up creating a storm that worked against them. I hope that made sense because that's the only analogy that's coming to me. Because all of their wands, all of the fire, literally all the fire cards are in reverse. But isn't it crazy when you look at you? You sitting over here with a pentacle that's very bright, like fire. And you also have the sun, which is hot, right? So you have like a ball of fire that's just illuminating. Look at her hands. She's like, oh, I'm graceful. Look at me, I'm so fucking graceful, right? Like you just have this ball of fire, ball of energy, but you're able to work with spirits. So you know how to control that fire. That's why I said, they're in this winter storm. They was hot shit before this. I don't know. This could be like someone who, with an accent. I don't know why I'm hearing that. But this could be someone with an accent or someone whose family is from like a warm climate. <laughs> I don't know. Something about them feels foreign. <laughs> something about them feels foreign, right? And like, I don't know. Like I said, that could be a specific message. Someone could be someone could have an accent or be from some sort of warm climate their family is whatever long story short they thought they was hot shit but you stole all their fire <laughs> with the sun you literally stole all of their fire that's crazy that's crazy that's crazy yeah <laughs> I feel like that's a short and sweet message. Hold on. Excuse me. Like that message is very in your face. It's very bam. Pow right in the kisser. <laughs> Pow right in the kisser type of energy. Ew. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. 
I heard this person could like something about their mouth. Like they could have bumps around their mouth. Something something is, is like goes on with their mouth when they eat. I don't know. Well, yeah, something. <laughs> if you notice something around the mouth area, yeah. Specific message. Anyway. Um let's see. Wow. I was going to say clarify the queen of pentacles, but it did it for me. Spirit did something for you because this is the empress. How do you clarify the queen of pentacles who's already fruitful with the mother of the deck who bears all the fruit? Okay. You are like, come on, look at, really. Like, really look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, okay? This is the empress, the mother of the deck, who bears fruit in her womb, in her being, in her body, in her soul, right? And then look at her, queen of pentacles. She literally has fruit. And look at her, like the pentacle, look where the pentacle area is. Well, look where the pentacle is on her body covering up her womb so that's like protected you're protected with your creations you're protected with i don't know like you are a protect uh, you are a protected creation is what i'm hearing you're a protected creation like a star seed star light something like that like divine but like that you know you're a divine being come on Wow, you must have a lot of, okay, look, ooh, there's some battle going on. Okay, now we're getting some tea, all right? So we're getting some tea right now. <laughs> so the tea is, right, their masculine ancestors were really, like, what were driving them, right? Because if you look at it, right, look at all of this masculine energy that they have. So you was behind them initially, right? In the red scarf. But this is a man in front. Boom. One man. Second man. King of Wands. Third man. The Knight of Wands. The fourth man. The King of Cups in reverse. And all of, like I said, all of these masculine energies are in reverse. So the T is, right? Their masculine ancestors were really, they were running wild, okay? Like they did not go to the light. They were not done with the control that they had on earth. Okay, their, their spirits were just like, ah, <laughs> that's what I picture, ah. I just picture someone screaming and yelling like, ah, like they just need control, so they just yell. But if you look at this, right? Keep that in mind, the polar opposite. Your ancestors are feminine. So you're, I'm not saying all of your ancestors are feminine, but I'm saying the ones that are protecting you right now are feminine. You go to the queen, again, whether you're a man or woman, the ancestors that are protecting you right now are feminine, okay? We have the queen of pentacles, a mother. We have... Another mother, the empress, mother of the deck. And look at this. The sun, a woman, and her breasts are out. So this is another form of nurturing. Again, you know, via breast milk. So we have womb, the, the ultimate bearer. She's protecting the womb to make sure everything goes right, you know, down on earth and everything is, is good, right? And then over here, we have finally when... You know, the stomach is flat, whatever. Not flat, you know what I'm saying. When the, the, the womb goes down, the puffiness goes down. What helps the womb go down is pumping. You know, whether you're breastfeeding or pumping. That helps the womb shrink. I'm not a mom, but I do know that, okay? I know that. <laughs> so, I'm telling you, do you, do you, do you see what I'm saying here? It's like, okay, like I, I can't make it any more clear than that. Rewind <laughs> and you can really see it. 
their masculine energies down. And look at this, right? Didn't I say you were that, right? In the red? You the one that have protection over your head. You the one that could wrap yourself up. This one's still lugging around a big doofy tool. Thinking like, what is that going to do? If you're in a winter storm, don't you need warmth? Come on now. Come on now. Your feminine ancestors, they're, they're like, they're like, woo, 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 woo. Spirit gods, whatever you want to call it. They are, who do you, okay? Like they, it, it, they is, they is fighting. They, need, they don't even have to fight. I'm sorry. They, they, they're not fighting for you. They're just letting you know, like, we got this. Like, we've been doing this for ages, for lineages, lineages, for bloodlines. <laughs> we've been doing this, okay? Like, these masculines over here, they're the ones that's babies, all right? They're the ones that's in the page of swords energy. They the ones that's small and don't know how to control their power. Your feminine ancestors is like, we, we know what we're doing. We got you. Just trust. This is a process. Birth is a process. Nurturing is a process. Child, child rearing, child bearing, and child rearing is a process. A long one at that. <laughs> a super long one at that. Okay, so they got you for life. You get what I'm saying? I don't even feel like pulling an oracle. Your ancestors, specifically, your feminine ones. I'm not saying your, ma your masculine ancestors don't got this, but I'm saying the feminine ancestors are speaking right now. They got you for life. If you trust, do you trust your life <laughs> with them? Okay. Again, remember we, we had this four of swords. I didn't remember I didn't, I didn't touch this deck. The four of swords is coffin for life. Again, I'm not saying your masculine ancestors aren't working with you as well. I'm just saying the feminine is speaking right now. This is a process. Trust the process for the long haul. I'm gonna end it right there. Ooh, because I feel I feel like the jitters. I feel like <laughs> the ancestors are here. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I've been talking a lot today. I did a lot of readings. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to book a personal, all that is down below. Bye.